Greetings, my beautiful lovelies. Hello, it's Emmy. Welcome back to another episode of Hard Times, where I explore food and recipes from times of food scarcity and hardship. Today, I'm going to be making a recipe called Weenies Royale, and it was suggested to me by viewer TJ. TJ, thank you so much for suggesting this. I spent so much time reading about this particular time in U.S. history, and it was sad, but an important one. And so this recipe, Weenies Royale, comes from the Japanese internment camps. So in 1942, soon after the bombing of Pearl Harbor, 120,000 Japanese and Japanese Americans were forcibly interned into camps, 10 remote camps all over the U.S. And they were forced to leave their homes and their businesses, and they were camped there and considered a threat to the nation. So three years later, in 1945, internment ended. In 1946, the last camp was closed. So I'm anticipating a comment saying, Emmy, you're talking about this because you're Japanese. And in fact, I am not Japanese by heritage. My channel name, Emmy Made in Japan, is that because I created this channel while I was living in Japan. I'm actually Chinese American. I was born in the US, raised in the US. And as an American, I think it's important to remember our history, particularly in these times. All right, let's make some Weenies Royale. First ingredient we're going to need is some yellow onion. This dish is actually still served at a place called June's Cafe in Sacramento in California. After living a life in the camps and having food like this, I could see, especially if you were young, that you would crave a dish like this again. So it actually is still served. And it's a very simple dish. And if you've seen my other Hard Times episodes like Clara's Poor Man's Meal or The Garbage Plate, you can see that hot dogs also play a role in those dishes as well, a protein source that was inexpensive and ubiquitous. So the reason why I'm using hot dogs in this ingredient in the first place is because the people that were interned were given rations from the U.S. government. That included spam, hot dogs, bread, just basic, basic, basic things. Maybe about a tablespoon of oil and add my onions. So you just want to brown these a little bit, get them caramelized. And while that's cooking, I'm going to prepare my hot dogs. So the hot dogs I'm just going to slice on the bias. Thanks so much TJ for suggesting this recipe. And because of it, I've been reading a lot about it, and I'm about to order Farewell to Manzanar. And Manzanar was the name of one of the camps, and it was written by an internee. Again, I think it's really, really important to remember those times, even though they were sad times. Those are starting to get some color on them and caramelize. Next, I'm going to beat up three eggs. So my onions are caramelizing, and now I'm going to add my hot dogs and get those browned up as well. It's actually smelling really good. Onions are smelling sweet. Hot dogs smell like summer. I'm going to let them kind of caramelize and exude some of that fat that's in the hot dogs. To this, we're going to add about a tablespoon of shoyu or soy sauce. I'm putting that towards the end because soy sauce tends to burn, and I didn't want to burn my onions. So once that's kind of evaporated off and glaze the meat, I'm going to add in my three beaten eggs. This is basically an omelet or a scramble, right? So let that cook a little bit, give it a little shove. It's smelling great. This is actually very reminiscent of a dish called oyakudon, which you have eggs cooked with chicken. Okay, so that is done. Got some rice here. And then I'm going to just serve my Weenies Royale right on top of that. It actually smells really good. Mm -hmm. 
Alrighty, let's give our Weenies Royale a taste. I've got some fresh rice here. I'm gonna get a bite of everything. All right, here we go. Itadakimasu. Itadakimasu means in Japanese, I humbly receive quite literally, but in essence it means thank you, let's eat. And I know, like I mentioned earlier, I am not Japanese by heritage, but since living there and adopting itadakimasu with every meal, I continue to say it, my family says it, every time we have a meal, I think it's a really great sentiment to be grateful for our food. All right, here we go. Itadakimasu. <laughs> and it's pretty good. Very, very, very familiar flavors. The hot dogs have a bologna lunch meat flavor to them, that familiar kind of bounce that comes with hot dogs with a little bit of caramelization. And the eggs are delicious, nice and savory with the caramelized onions that are nice and sweet. But what brings this out of breakfast for me in terms of a breakfast scramble or a breakfast omelet is that it's accompanied with rice. And with rice, it suddenly becomes a meal to me and feels more like lunch or dinner. But simple, filling, made with the ingredients that you've got, with a touch of familiarity that makes it feel a little bit like home. Mm -hmm. Pretty good. So there you have it, Weenies Royale, a recipe from the Japanese internment camps. Do let me know in the comments down below if there are recipes that you'd like to see me test out or try. There are so many fascinating recipes. I've been loving this Hard Time series because of it, because I've learned so much about human existence and fortitude and strength and it's inspiring all right thank you guys so much for watching i hope you guys enjoyed that one i hope you guys learned something share this video with your friends it really helps me out follow me on social media subscribe and i shall see you in the next one to take care bye